Last time we left off, Jimson and Fetchy arrived at a village with ice trees and ice resistant villagers. Then they met up with the team, and they found someone who claims to know where the space magical locotinium is. The guard arrived at the alleyway, and the team went to meet this person. Hey, you got the stuff? The guard asked. Oh, I almost forgot. About that, Ingrifo claimed as he pulled out a small bag from his pocket and gave it to the guard. I've got the rest. I'll just give it to you when you show me where the blue stuff is. Ingrifo said as he showed the guard the other bag in his other hand. All right, follow me, the guard said as he took them to a secret passageway that only the guards knew existed. It's an easy way for the guards to travel a town without all of the unwanted attention. Let's go, the guard said as the team followed and eventually made it out of the town and into the winter snow. Into the winter snow. Then after 10 minutes of traversing, they arrived at a wishing well, and then the guard all of a sudden stopped. Why did you stop? Bimson asked. Oh, it's in the wishing well. Fetchy was interrupted. Yep, yep, now give me my reward, the guard demanded. All right, here, and Griffith said as he gave the guard the other bag, and they walked away. Time to get out of here. Collect the crap and let's get Jackie Mill Purples and Hologram was interrupted by the blue cloaked figure from earlier. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Jillops appealed. The blue cloaked figure threw the guard at Jillops at the mist and hit Dartrix Dimension. No! Dartrix Dimension. Dr. Miratano Ossenberg yelled, Another life on your hands, she'll upset. The blue cloaked figure yelled with insanity in his voice, Guys, you need to collect the space magical continuum while I take out the trash, she'll upset said as he put on a dark blue armor set with ice symbols on it. And he pulled out this sword that has ice and mouse on it as well. Well, let me help with the trash. <laughs> Let's make a joke, said. Oh, oh, well, I gotta get my anger out somehow, so I'll help. The grassless said, killing three birds with one stone. I love the challenge. C said as he teleported behind Agresva before she could transform into anyone or anything and stabbed her in the back. Oh my god! Agresva yelled as she fell on the ground. God dang it, Agresva! In fact, she yelled as he turned into a javelin wielding warrior and shot a, bla a purple blast of energy at the blue cloaked figure. Oh, how cute. That was very cute. That was my t The blue cloaked figure was interrupted by Let's Make a Joke shooting him with his guns, and it didn't seem to do anything. Wow, that was cuter than the other guy, the blue cloaked figure claimed. Oh, don't worry. I was starting off soft. I got... I got more guns. I always got more guns. Let's make a joke, said, as they pulled out gun after gun, shotguns, many guns, and more. But still, nothing happened to the blue cloaked figure. And then it's, he slapped him and knocked out. Let's make a joke. Okay, that's going to be it, you guys. So please. If you did like this, 
Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another part to this insane journey of a story. At least, like, that's my opinion. But anyway, bye.